The Electoral College meets on Monday to certify Donald Trump as the next president of the United States. Now, ahead of their meeting, some lawmakers and campaign officials want the electors to receive an intelligence briefing on the CIA's assertion that Russia interfered in our presidential election. With me now is Congressman Jim Himes. He's a Democrat from Connecticut, and he's a member of the House Intelligence Committee. Congressman, thank you for joining us. Good morning. People are asking me, what have our intelligence agencies said or shown uh, that, that draws people to conclude 100% that the hacking was done by Russia and not some what else? Well, that particular point is not any longer subject to debate. Um, the intelligence community has stated loudly and clearly for a long time that uh, that Russia was behind the hacking of the DNC, the hacking of individuals, by the way, the hacking of many organizations uh, out there associated with the political process. That's really not subject to debate. And as a member of the committee, I've looked at the evidence and, uh, you know, so, again, so Congressman, that is I don't just... want to I don't want to interrupt you. Uh, I, I'm not taking our uh, issue with you. But again, in the presidential debates, Donald Trump said it could be a 400 pound guy on his bed. And then the other day, he told uh, Fox's Chris Wallace it could be a guy on his bed. So it is yeah, up for debate and, with the president of the United States, or the president-elect well, uh, of the United States. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, right, and that's, that's a question that is worth asking. Again, that point is not up for debate. It, it, we, we, intelligence is an uncertain project, right? And it is not exactly clear, and there's a, you know, ample sort of dialogue going on nationally about why uh, the Russians did this, or who they may have been trying to help, or who not. Um, that's, that's subject to debate. You know, intelligence is... Um, uh, you know, you never know things for 100 percent. You never know things 100 percent. But in the case that the Russians did it, that's not subject to debate. So you're right. The president elect out there saying that it might have been some fat guy on his bed or whatever it was, he said, um, uh, is, is just it's profoundly concerning. And it's one in a long line of things that President elect Trump has done and said that has shown that we should at a minimum be profoundly concerned that this guy is about to go into the Oval Office uh, and which, quite frankly, in combination and in the aggregate, make the guy look just completely unqualified. So, for the role he's about so to here's assume. the question I get from people who are not in our business who follow this all the time. Uh, it is one thing to say that Russia interfered in our election, uh, but w who's to say that the outcome would have been different and that Hillary Clinton would have been the president-elect if Russia hadn't involved itself in our election? Right. I, I would hope that nobody would say that because there's no evidence to suggest that that's the case. So the issue here is not did, you know, in some Hollywood, uh, you know, blockbuster, did, Holly, did Russia install a president of the United States? I don't think that's true. I don't think anybody's alleging that. There's two things of, pr of prime concern here. One is that Russia felt free to meddle in an election, and, and we all, regardless of party, should be concerned about that. But equally concerning is the fact that the man who's about to become president of the United States trashed uh, our intelligence community for saying something that was very, very clear and rose to the defense of Russia. Both of those things warrant examination. This idea that Hillary would be Clinton but for the Russians is, I don't think, is supported by evidence or, frankly, anybody talking out there right now. All right, so you, you want the Electoral College to block Donald Trump from becoming president. You think that John Adams, Ben Franklin, Alexander Hamilton, uh, they designed the Electoral College uh, for this kind of a, a, a situation. Tell me why. Well, look, it's a cumulative thing. I've watched this president-elect, and I'd set out to give him the president of the doubt and the, 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 uh, the benefit of the doubt, and then I watched him sort of make up uh, just quite uh, outrageous lies. The idea that there were two to three million fraudulent votes cast in this election. Uh, the idea that he won a historic political victory. None of these things are true. And unfortunately, you know, unlike crazy Uncle Mike down at the TGI Fridays, what the president says really matters. It moves lies. It, it moves markets. It, it, it makes a difference and how people behave around the world, and then add into that the fact that this guy, President-elect Trump, can find time to meet with Kanye this morning, but apparently can't find time to be briefed in a very dangerous world by the intelligence agencies that he has trashed in public. For me, the final straw was when I saw the President-elect of the United States trash the intelligence community and stand up for the Kremlin, and I thought, this guy is not qualified to be president. And yes, we do have a constitutional mechanism, and this is not an idea. You just need to read the Federalist Papers to 
know that our founding fathers, uh, and, and, and let me be clear here, I'm not a big fan of the Electoral College, but the Electoral College was set up precisely to allow for a group of people to deliberate and to stop foreign interference, to stop somebody ascending to that office who was not qualified. And by the way, interestingly enough, the idea always was that the Electoral College would step in and act against the popular will. That is to say, they would say to the majority of Americans, the, the guy you picked to be president is not going to be president. In this case, if the Electoral College acted, they would be acting according yeah. to the wishes of the majority of Americans. It is interesting what you pointed out. The allegations of Russian hacking, the fact that the president's supposed to talk about his business ties, the fact that there are questions about Rex Tillerson, and the fact that Aleppo uh, people are getting killed, and he had time. He doesn't have time for a press conference. He does not have time to talk to the media. He has time to meet with Kanye West. Uh, things can't get any weirder, Congressman. Thank you for being with us, Congressman Jim Hines, a Democrat from Connecticut. Uh, murder for hire. The jury's getting instructions from the judge right now in the retrial of Dahlia DiPolito, the woman accused of hiring a hitman to kill her husband.